For weeks, we've been uh, wanting to tell a couple of stories, and one of them is about this ice planet, which I hope you recognize. How many of you know what planet that is? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the yes. ice on series I was talking about. It's the about. ice on Earth. So, oh. Patrick, you want to tell us a little bit okay. more about this? Well, we, we've been reporting about this um, for, in, in fact, uh, since the beginning of last year. And uh, it, this is a story that comes out of uh, West Antarctica, and uh, we'll go to the next slide, where we've, uh, scientists have been increasingly concerned about a large um, ice shelf, which is called Larsen C, which is located right over here. And um, last August, um, uh, a NASA um, plane flew over an area of Larsen C and found this large ice crack. It actually extends 120 miles and is about 300 feet across and 800 feet deep. And you can see uh, how big that chasm is uh, close up. What the concern is that um, the, if we go to the next slide, is that the, um, the crack itself um, which is, uh, extends from this side all the way up to this area here. And this map actually is a satellite map that shows the actual movement of ice um, in, um, in uh, meters uh, per day. And um, the red is where it's moving the fastest, which is the, uh, where, the, where the ice is still breaking up. This is, all, um, this is the long uh, crack that extends up there. And so the, you imagine in, during February when this data was taken, um, the ice in this area is moving uh, almost about 10 feet per day um, out towards the sea and, and is also uh, contributing to um, the, the, uh, the crack that's continuing to, uh, to uh, break. We can go to the most recent data, um, which is April, May, and uh, you can see now, uh, now it's um, in April, May, that, that's more like it's, it's approaching, we're approaching uh, southern winter now. Um, there is still um, a lot of movement of ice, and uh, what's worrying is that the uh, ice shelf will actually eventually uh, carve away, and we can see um, the extent of the uh, crack. So if we look at this, since 2010, this is uh, how much um, the crack has, um, has progressed. And um, on May 1st, um, there was a split, because in, in February, we can see here, uh, we thought the, uh, the crack was going to go this way and extend and uh, carve out more, but it's actually going this direction. Now, we just had some uh, a recent uh, chart, and we can see now that um, the, the crack has actually ta taken a turn. Um, it's extended since um, May 1st to uh, May 31st. Um, an extension of 17 miles has been added, and it's only about eight miles from here to the uh, edge of the shelf. And um, the um, big concern is now that it's now dark over there, so we can only rely on satellite data. Um, and we won't be able to see this ice shelf actually carve away. And maybe there'll, there'll be pictures somehow from satellite. But if it breaks, <laughs> um, it would be a lot bigger than this uh, piece of ice. It would be the size, size of Delaware uh, floating in the Weldon Sea and eventually carried out into the Southern Ocean.